Hello again from North Country Ham. Welcome everybody and I appreciate you clicking on the video and watching. Today's video we're going to do a little unboxing. I uh, just got some new equipment for the shack and I wanted to share that with you. I did allude to it in previous video on uh, an antenna that I've got coming to add out there so I'll have two different uh, HF antennas. So stick around and we'll get right to it. Uh, thanks for sticking around with me. Uh, just want to do a little unboxing here. I've got my box here from uh, that came in the mail the other day. Pretty, uh, pretty solid and soggy box. Got some weight to it, so we'll see what uh, what's in there and uh, kind of go over a little bit of what my initial thoughts are on it. And uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to deploy it and do a little add on to the video here included with this one um showing its reception because the weather up here it's snowing and blowing and uh haven't had an opportunity to finish the mast that i want to hang it on um so once i'm able to get that maybe i'll do a little uh share and compare between my vertical and this uh antenna so uh let's take a look here let's see what we've got Alrighty, folks. All right, here's the box. So let's kind of open this up and see what it, what we're dealing with here. Kind of show you what's in the box and kind of do some initial uh, thoughts and perceptions on it. First time doing an unboxing on the channel, showing some equipment. So perhaps maybe we can do some more in the future. Um, and even maybe included with along with it some uh, product reviews if uh, if the opportunity presents itself. Well, we'll kind of get rid of that there and a little receipt there. Better hold on to that. All right. Well, I did order some uh, feeder line for it. Got some RG213 here, uh, 50 feet of it, and uh, I went ahead and bought with the connector is already on there so I can run it. What I'm doing is I've got a flagpole out there. This is a Alpha Delta antenna. It's the uh, DX uh, CCLB plus. I, if I recall the saying it correctly. So we've got our 50 feet there. Um, pull this right out of the box get the box right out of the way and we can kind of go through it here so as you can see here I got the antenna here from it's a multi-band antenna for uh, by Alpha Delta communications it is the DXLB plus so this uh, it's a essentially what I what I would call it is a fan dipole or uh, an aspect thereof um, it's a 160 80 and 40 mainline um, antenna uh, mount to be put up as a dipole or an inverted V a recommended center point at about 35 feet and um, it's supposed to cover a good portion of the frequencies there and I'll try to uh, pull up the website to it and add to that as well and show that to you the breakdown of the um, and what you're seeing here so 6080 it's 600 watts, uh, CW PEP, uh, 40 meters is 1,000 watts, CW PEP, and then um, it has got some lower radios coming off, um, essentially in a fan dipole type of uh, configuration that will cover um, basically uh, your, your 40 through 10 or 20 meters through 10 there. 
Um, so that way it's, it's a multi-band um, dipole inverted V type antenna that I'll cut so I can get, uh, I don't have 160 coverage out in uh, my antennas yet. So when I deploy this, I will. And, um, you know, it's, you know, it's got a certain amount of frequency range coverage resonant and with a tuner, it'll give you full band coverage. So I'll just kind of pop this here, pull this out and, uh, take a closer look and get our initial thoughts on it. There's a lot in here. All right. So initially here we've got some uh, product information and uh, setup information that they've got set. Some assembly information. Kind of gives you a breakdown of how they've done the uh, from your center poise out. Your main line is 40 and then they've got the uh, little radio here for... Uh, to get you to the 80 and then another coil for to give you to the 160 range total um total span is 100 feet on the antenna end to end so that's uh that's pretty good um you know it gives you a little less uh a little more compact in the space it takes up to get but still have uh decent uh coverage so you know, it says right here, max output SWR at feed point, not, no tuner included, is a two to one or less, um, based on the test they've done, um, in the clear with no surrounding objects at a height of 35 feet is an inverted V with the ends at 10 feet above ground. It's going to be pretty close to what I've got, um, how I'm going to deploy it. I uh, plan to, I've got a 25 foot aluminum flagpole that I sunk in the ground um, earlier last year, um, 2020, that I intended to put a vertical on and possibly be able to raise and lower that vertical um, with inclement weather, but it was just too, too long and too heavy of an antenna for that uh, that I was doing. Um, I built a collar system that went around the pole that was on a heavier duty pulley you know that so it was covering a bigger span on the pole so it would ride smoother but it just wasn't going to work and keep a good vertical antenna so i had to uh go away from that idea and i sunk an actual uh steel fence post put it where it's at uh just about eight to ten feet at the max height of the post um which is the uh minimum recommended height for that antenna um, to be mounted at and the antenna is actually a 38 foot antenna so it's the top of the antenna is still up there but um, you know it's given me some good coverage the way I've got it currently uh, set up but I'm going to utilize this the flagpole with this I've got a 10 foot section that I'm adding to the top of it um, PVC that uh, put the pulley at the top with some shower rings that I picked up clear plastic rings Put around the pole so the feed line coax i'll actually connect those to those rings so the rings will keep it to the pole without allowing it to wave around and blow around too much um, and raise a center point right up to the top and then i'll be able to run each leg out um, to two um, connection points that i have for it so that's my intended setup for it and we'll show you that once we get it actually deployed but uh you know so that's a that's a little bit of information on the antenna. So got a couple sections of shot cord or uh, parachute cord here. Two lengths of that, one for each end, obviously. Some pretty uh, solid wire. Looks like it's a solid core, non-stranded, but this is just a short section of wire. Might be to add it or do something with to uh for tuning purposes try not to make a, too much of a mess of this but got a little dog bone at this end um that one end point so far you know looking at 
the coils here. Everything's nicely wound. Everything's tight. Uh, don't see any issues as far as that. You know, they've got everything's wired tightly and cinched right up and solid so far. So there's a 160 coil going to your 80 meter coil on this one. Everything's tight here, right out of the box. Pretty solid construction so far. Just trying not to. So that takes us right up to, and here's some of our other side coils. Try not to make too much of a mess of this until I'm able to actually string it out, but here's our center point. Heavy duty, uh, looks like a very rugged plastic center point. Um, all the, all of our, all of our connections are tight. Got a nice piece of, uh, heat shrink here with the mic so I can keep talking and see what I'm doing here, but. You know, got, and everything's all heat shrinked and looks like it's weathered in and sealed. SO239, Stug. So far, I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing. Okay, the wire is pretty stiff, though. <laughs> that would be my only concern is how stiff the wire itself is. But that might be a durability, too. Um, looks like here just a bunch of your... To keep everything spaced. So, check out this coil. Yeah, nice and tight. Set this down like this so I can... Coil, both, all the coils so far have been nice and tightly wound. All of our, you know, it's just a piece of PVC pipe with everything run through and cinched up. I mean, pretty... Uh, Simple but solid construction. And check out this coil too. Everything is very, seems very tight and well wound on the coils. Don't see any, not noticing at this point, any kind of defects or anything. Seems to be a very uh, solidly constructed uh, constructed antenna got some pretty good weight to it you know so far with everything that I'm seeing I was a little skeptical you know wasn't sure I hadn't really seen or heard much talk on this uh, particular brand of antenna by anybody in the radio community so far um, I'm pretty impressed with it given the uh, how well put together it is and very solidly done um the center insulator i wasn't sure if it was going to be metal um, but being a heavy grade uh, plastic type insulator i think that's going to be beneficial um so we don't have any kind of uh issues with uh the signal on it um and given that it's going to be connected right up through to uh the way I'm running it on onto the plast on the uh, heavy PVC, it's not gonna be in contact with uh, metal near it to interfere that way with the uh, signal strength either. So, all in all, I'm uh, pretty uh, pretty impressed with it. I, I think this is gonna be good, and I can't wait to get it deployed and give a test and uh, maybe uh, show a video from there. Well, you know, so far, uh, I can't wait to see what this antenna is going to offer me. I, uh, once I get it up and deployed and mounted how I'm going to, I'll uh, shoot some video of that showing how I've got it up. Um, the way I've got to do it with uh, what I've got out there, the one leg of it will be running over my garage roof um, to a tree. Uh, but I don't think that's going to cause a whole lot of problem. I should be away enough where I'm not going to really have any interference with anything switching back and forth, but it'll give me a way to 
go to a horizontal versus vertical antenna different times based on signals and see if I can pick some other uh, people out of the that I wasn't picking up before so uh, I hope uh, everything was good I uh, appreciate you watching the video and we'll see you on the next one as always get on the air <laughs>